Hello, snowboarders of the internet. I'm your host, Averin Lefebvre, and in this video, we're gonna be reviewing the Solomon hologram, which got overhauled for 2024. I rode this on a sunny bluebird day that had choppy pow, high winds to moderate winds, chop, chunder, perfect corduroy, a little bit of ice, and I rode it on my ride shadow band snowboard with my K2 Thraxxus boots. When it comes to binding adjustability, you have two twist cams on the toe and the heel strap. You unscrew them, you can lengthen or shorten them, tighten them back down, lock it in. And then you have the forward lean and high back rotation tied to the set screw at the bottom there. That's pretty much it for adjustability on these things. Now let's talk about the straps. With the heel one, you got a two piece design that's a little thicker than others out there. So you have that exoskeleton on the outside for a little more rigidity through the middle of the instep. And then it's still a thicker strap, even though it doesn't provide any of the padding that all comes from the boot. This contours well around the instep of the boot. It locks you in and it's not so soft that you're pushing through it, but it's not so stiff that you just feel like you can't drive it. The toe strap has an immensely huge cutout with a double ridge on the top for added grip. This will fit just about any boot shape from what I've seen. It's gonna lock in and hold it very, very well. With the ratchets, you got a one finger quick release on the heel and that works exceptionally well. This ratchet climbs well, it's easy to use, it stays locked and you don't have to worry about it. Now with the toe, it's a push down quick release. Now that does work, but Personally, if you're gonna have one thing with a one finger quick release, you should have the other with it. Both ratchets should be universal. That's my take on that. But these worked, they held well. I never had them prematurely released. They climbed, they locked, they did what you needed them to do. All right, so let's talk about the high back on this thing. It's soft, it's very playful. And when you add in that heel cup that has that shadow fit, you get a lot of give in it especially on the outside. If you're really driving and tweaking it, you can get this to give out. If you're going straight back into it, it's a little more rigid. Overall, it's a soft high back. There's no forward lean adjustment on it. You have to do that with the set screws on the side. Basically, it's a very flexible, forgiving high back. The overall flex of this binding comes in around the middle of the road. You do get a little bit more play just from the shadow fit and the straps. So if you're looking for a binding with more precision, this probably isn't it. But if you're looking for something that's got a lot of lateral play as well as fore and aft play to it, something that just lets you kind of rotate your ankles around and be a little more slashy with things, this isn't a bad option. This is a lively binding with a lot of play to it. So the overall ride of it isn't precision based. It's a little bit more loose. Small micro vibrations do get dissipated underfoot, but the more jarring hits, you're gonna feel it. So if you're getting your body rocked, be prepared to take it in the lower back because it's gonna suck. They revamped this binding to just make it a little more rigid underfoot. It works, it gives it a little bit more power. Now, shadow fit isn't for everyone, and the shadow fit on this definitely isn't for me. I would like a stiffer binding, just something with more response. You don't get enough response. For a park jibber or someone that's smashing deep pow all the time and wants a looser feel so that they can get more ankle flexion, yeah, it's an absolutely great binding. Is this a bad binding? No. Is it an absolutely mind-blowing great binding? No. But the revamp that they put into this actually works, and it works well. Who's this binding for? The all mountain freestyle guy that wants it a little bit more loose. Comparable bindings, the Union Strata, the Battalion Blaster ASIM, the K2 Edition. This has been my review of the Solomon Hologram bindings. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you own a pair? Are you gonna buy a pair? Leave me a comment down below. Let's have a conversation about this binding. If you're new here, remember to subscribe, click the bell, get those notifications. That way you're not missing any of the videos we got coming out for all you snowboarders of the internet. And if you really like what we're doing over here and you want to support us further, swing on over to Angry Snowboarder VIP and become a member. Sure, I could tell you more here, but I got a video over there that explains it so much better. As always, I've been your host, Averin Lefebvre, and I'll see you in another video.